It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. How did you feel about Andy Reid winning the Super Bowl? I was, honestly, I was happy for him. And for me, like I said, playing in Philly and obviously the way that things went down, you know, me not being able to, con you know, continue on. I got suspended the sec my, my second year. And then just the way our first year went, like I like that's what they brought me to Philadelphia to do to help get them beyond the four NFC championships that they had been to prior. And as I mentioned to you earlier, earlier, some of the guys they can attest to Brian Westbrook has said it. Um, Brian Dawkins, those guys know I brought an energy over there. I brought swag over there. And that and that that took them through the playoffs when I had gotten hurt, you know, being um, dragged down for the for the horse collar and I was injured. That energy that that I brought throughout the course of the season that propelled throughout the throughout the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So for me, like I, I felt like I let the city down, you know, because that's what I wanted. You know, what I mean, I wanted to get, get get to the Super Bowl. We played in the Super Bowl. I played with two screws and, and a plate in my ankle. I thought they said you had a broke leg, which you didn't. I did. I had a broke I had a broken ankle. ankle. Wow. No, I had two screws and, and, a, and a plate in my ankle. I had one a in severely, your head. A severely sprained ankle, <laughs> and my fibula was broken. And so that. The only thing that bothered me was the break. So when I went out pregame or what have you, um, they tried to tape my ankle up. That was the worst thing to do because it, it hurt really bad. So I went back inside, um, talked to Rick Burker, who's he's still with Andy, won a Super Bowl. He's a head trainer for the for the Chiefs as well. And so I went in and I told him, I said, dude, I said, my, I said, up by my knee, I said, it's the break. I said, it's, it's hurting really mm -hmm. bad. So what he did was he basically just took some tape because when you walk and you distribute <clears throat> your your weight distribution, your bones naturally spread. And so that's what was bothering me so they basically just put some tape around it that kind of eliminated it uh eliminated some of the, uh, the 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 pain and so i i was i was good to go and so again i tried to do everything within my power i knew that i wasn't 100 percent, but i gave it all that i had knowing that prior to getting to philly when i got to philly how the fans embraced me going to lehigh university having ten thousand plus people that i practice every day that's what really made me want to really play in that Super Bowl even though like I said I even had to sign a waiver just to play in the Super Bowl hmm. so the what team, did the waiver say? Um, so they wouldn't be liable because the, yeah. the, doc, the doctor that, per, that, that performed my surgery he didn't medically clear me wow. so I couldn't just be on the football field otherwise somebody was going to be liable so I had to sign that waiver in order to play in the Super Bowl why was it that important to you though because you had a future after that game so why was that so important if you realize that was the only Super Bowl I ever played in yeah you know, so again, you know, everybody, if you're the, unlike the Patriots, you're not going to get to the Super Bowl very, very often. Man, and sure so for like. me, I just felt like within my power, um, everything that I had done throughout the course of my career, like I'm a man, I'm a, I'm a God fearing man. I was raised in the church. Um, my grandmother always told me just put faith in him and you can do anything that, you know, you put your mind to. And that was pretty much the premise of why I wanted to get back on the field. It wasn't trying to outshine or anybody. I knew that if God gave me the ability uh, and, and the, the trainers put everything that they did behind me to get on that football field and I could play, then that's what I was going to do. Matthew, let me ask you, because I, I want an objective opinion on this. Mm -hmm. Does that help or hurt a team? Right. T.O. hasn't played in a while. Mm -hmm. comes back. He's not 100 mm -hmm. percent. They might have established a different type of chemistry. Yep. Yep. Does that help or hurt? Uh, at that time, it helps because that's your superstar. Mm -hmm. Like and when Kevin Durant came back right for that game, that energy that's in the building, that's in the city. It definitely helps. It helps yeah. every player, especially the role players. Because, again, don't forget, they won two playoff games. So the role players like I've done my portion, I raised my level up, but I might not be able to do it this third game. Whew, I'm glad I got my big brother back. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it definitely helps in all those scenarios. And I would have thought that's what that was the approach that Donovan would have taken with me being out, you know, those two playoff games. You know, he's been politically correct all his life. You know what I mean? But when it came to me for some odd reason, maybe he don't like, like you, dog. Yeah, like I said, that's what I took from it. Is that <laughs> what what is it against me? what is it about me that you dislike? What do you think it was? If I don't know. And if you're going to get mad at anybody, why not get at, get mad at the media for asking you that question? But you've been politically correct every other answer, why not be politically correct when it came to me about, you know, whether I was going to play or not? He could have found a number of ways to answer about me not, you know, being, you know, not being available to play in the Super Bowl. Why do you think he started taking shots at you, shots at you now? That was like I, last month. It last year, a couple of weeks I, ago. I, 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 mm. Honestly, I, I don't know. Mm. And so for me, like I said, I, th I thought it was dead. I thought it was it was done. I had, I've had i seen him a few times 
After that, we played in Larry Fitzgerald softball uh, game on the team, whatever. I thought everything was cool. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, um, when you're trying to stay relevant for whatever reason, um, and as I mentioned to you earlier, I've never been any off the field, uh, had any off the field problems, any issues. For somebody, to, for him, the league, the team, guys have put him in such high regard. Who's had the most off, off the field issues? How many DUIs have he had? Mm. How many, how many, how many uh, meat sexual salt me situations? Me too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He called me dudes? Yeah, he's on that list, bro. So again, really, I've always, like I said, bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah, like I said, I appreciate the question about accountability, mm -hmm. bro. I've always been accountable for what I've done, and even when people have accused me of things that I haven't done, mm. like I said, I'm always going to defend my character. And uh, reputation, the reputation is what people think of you, and like for me, my character, I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of who my grandmother raised, and so after all of that, if I'm such the bad person that the media has portrayed me to be all the years, you would think that it would translate a transfer to post football. So you and Donovan never had a meal together. Y'all never bro, had any type of after relationship. After he cursed me out in the huddle, bro, <clears throat> I, I canceled all of that. Really? It would be Wait, like, what, said, you don't know, you we, 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 we teammates or whatever. <laughs> yes. and I'm in the huddle and I don't throw I'm You're me. I'm, I'm, I'm Donovan. You come to me I'm like, <laughs> T, I was open on this play. We don't, I don't want on, no fucking suit. We don't, <laughs> right. So I'm going to give you this scenario. So we don't work on this play. We play, I think it was the, the the Browns or the Giants. I can't remember who it was, but we ran this particular play. I'm number one in the progression. The play worked to a T in practice. We didn't even have to tell that. Sometimes they'll scheme and tell the defense what to do, but we didn't even have to do that just because the play was so potent. Did it in practice number of times. Did it in the game. It worked to a T. Everybody knew the play was coming up. I ran the route. Ran to the sideline, the defender bit. I'm up the sideline. I'm wide open. He doesn't even throw the ball. Mm. So I before I even before I even just judge anything, I come back to the huddle because I, I didn't see what was going on. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe he got flushed out the pocket or whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, I just went. I said, dude, I was wide open because when I came out of my route, what was your tone when no, you no, said no, that? No, yeah, I don't think you said, dude, no, 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 that's the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. No, first, exactly, and I, I'm glad you asked that. My yeah. tone wasn't demonstrative. Nothing. It's, it was no different than any other time. I was like, dude, I said I was wide open. It was just me talking to him. No just, profanity. No, no nothing. No, dude. He looked at me and told me, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> After that, bro. So I, I could have, I chose then. I could have addressed it in the huddle, yeah. but we were during the game. I said, "No, nah, I'm gonna chill out." We came out on that series. I even asked my position coach. I'm like, "Yo," I'm like, "What happened on that?" My coach looked at me with kind of like just bewildered. He's like, "I don't know." I said, "Was he flushed out of pocket?" And he's like, "Nothing." So I, after the game, I went to my locker. We're in the locker room. Um, I waited, like I said, at this time, like I said, I know that the perception. So I know people thinking, oh, he's going to, you know, he's destroying the locker room. There's always something. So I waited till the locker room cleared out. It was a couple of people in the, in, in the, in the area while we were getting dressed. And before he le left out of the area, I just addressed him. And I said, look, I said, dude, at the end of the day, I said, I'm a man, you a man. I said, I didn't come at you sideways or what have you. All I said was I was open. I said, don't ever dress me like that again. And so from that point on, did like, he say something back to you right that. there though? You huh? believe that? Match, uh, did, how, did he respond? To like when you said that, did he no, respond? I, I can't back? remember what his response was, but he looked at me, addressed it or whatever. But at that point, my I was like, bro, I I just couldn't because, take the disrespect because, uh, because if you look at it from a quarterback position, right? When that happened, if he would have addressed it, he should have been like, well, look, something happened on that play, which he was frustrated and he took out his frustration on you during the moment, right? But and I that, already, but that, you would took that as an apology, but you're saying that never happened. That never happened. Okay. But and the thing well, is, is, I already asked the coaches what had happened. They mm -hmm. had a bird's eye view. Yeah, I mean, so well, something could have happened though. Right, something could have happened. Exactly. They're, but they're watching again. I know my my coach is not going to lie to me. I asked him. I said, well, what happened on the ride? He's like, I don't know. I I said, was he first flushed out of the pocket? And no, there was no reason for him not to throw the ball. And I was number one in the progression. Maybe so I weren't just, open. That, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not again, talking the, the, to you. The, Maybe first of all, <laughs> because I'm nah, saying from the court, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie from the quarterback <laughs> position, you think you, you were locked up? Like I would lock your ass no, up on that guy, same play, probably. Guy, yeah. You thought uh, you were security, open. Security. You thought. Security. You thought. Can we get the heckler? And then I come. You sound ridiculous.